Check it out guys, I got more new accessories that complement your Tesla Model 3 or your Tesla Model Y. Everything from cabin comfort, interior cleaning, garage accessories, and the exterior add-ons. Most of them just released on the market and I thought I would compile them all in this one video. My name is Evan and if you're new here, welcome. Let's get started with the first item. Brand new on the market is this vacuum by a company called Bezos. The A7 vacuum is completely wireless with a high speed brushless motor providing up to 20 minutes of runtime. The compact design is ideal to leave in your Tesla sub trunk or frunk for those on the go cleanups. You can even conveniently charge it in your Tesla with the included USB cord. There are two suction modes, one at low and one at high to pick up large debris. In high mode you can see the amount of debris the vacuum can pick up with little effort. Within seconds the thing completely clean up the entire pile of debris. For those tight spots use the hose attachment for under the seat cleaning and other small areas. To empty it out just rotate the dirt bowl and remove the filter to empty out the contents. It also comes with an additional HEPA filter that is washable and reusable. Should you want an even more compact portable vacuum, be sure to check out the other ones from Bezos that I have shown in my channel. They all work really nice. Check this out in the link below this video. Moving on to cabin comfort, these brand new headrest pillows have been newly upgraded with a genuine Nappa leather that looks and feels just like the Tesla seats. The pillow is not too large to where it will push your head forward. I found it just perfect to enhance my driving comfort. You could certainly unzip the back to add more filler as you can see the pillows come with additional cotton or remove some should there be too much. I also like that the pillow blends right into the seat. You also will not see any ugly strap tied behind the headrest like other pillows on the market. These straps are invisible and they just tuck right into the headrest gap. The pillows come with two strap lengths to match your preferred height comfort. There are also two slots to connect these straps on the back of the pillows. One is higher and one is lower to further enhance neck comfort. Simply connect the straps to the pillow hooks on either end and you're done. The perforated holes on the bottom help push out the air when your head leans up against the pillow. They come in both the color black and white to match your interior. Go ahead and give these pillows a try, you're not going to be disappointed in them. To beat the heat this summer, you may want to have a look at these sunroof shades by Tamai. You may have seen my last video showcasing these retractable sun shades, however there still is a small gap on the side allowing sun rays to come through. For 100% coverage of the sunroof of your Tesla Model 3 or your Model Y, you might want to check out these foldable 2 layer thermal blocking shades. I really like that they blend into the fabric of the original Tesla window columns. To install these, just unfold one section and attach these plastic clips on all the ends. For 100% thermal coverage, attach this black vinyl cloth to the top of the shade by snapping it into place with the built-in magnets. Take your shade and place it in the sunroof by sliding the clips between the window and the fabric column. After your clips are in place, repeat the process on the second shade in the rear. I personally decided to just use the shade and not add the additional black vinyl cloth. I wanted a little light to come through and to be honest, it's not much light even with the extra layer. However, if you really want to keep your cabin cooler, be sure to add the second layer to provide the infrared thermal blocking protection. If you park your Tesla in a garage every day like me and you want to make it look more appealing, you might want to check out these LED honeycomb style ceiling lights. I could not be happier with how they turned out and to see the improvement of lighting in my garage. These plug and play light tubes output a whopping 60,000 lumens with a color temperature of 6,500 kelvins that translate into a natural looking white light that works great for the garage, a shop, or even your basement. These lights are also waterproof, suitable to work in a wet environment. Now if you're finding this video awesome this far, consider clicking that like button for me below so current and future Tesla owners can find this. I would greatly appreciate it. Not only do these hexagon grid lights provide more light output, but also help save on energy costs as these are 100% LEDs. They are also great if you live in a cold climate or have an unheated garage. LEDs do not take time to heat up, therefore in comparison to the incandescent tube lights which are dim under cold conditions, these LEDs become bright immediately, producing consistent energy efficient light in very cold temperatures. This lighting has completely transformed the way my garage looks and I still have one more kit in the back to install yet. I work in my garage pretty often with this YouTube channel with other household projects and now I can actually see everything in my garage and I mean everything. The time I spent installing this has really paid off and I could not be happier with how they turned out. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I'll have a link below this video showing you how to install these yourself. A big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Exter. Exter is the world's largest smart wallet brand that designs and innovates solutions to improve the way you carry your everyday items. I just got this Parliament wallet which holds a variety of credit cards along with my Tesla key. Made from premium leather, this slim storage and quick card access feature makes finding your payment method a breeze. Just push one button and all of your cards will appear. I was worried that all of my cards would fall out of the wallet but it did a great job at keeping them intact. This also has built in RFID blocking technology to prevent card skimming and if 
you lose your wallet, you can add this solar power tracker to locate it by using their app. This two-way solar powered ringing feature tracks your wallet on a map with the click of a button. A simple three hour solar charge in the sunlight will last over two months. If you're looking for something more durable, the aluminum card holder offers an even more slim profile that can hold between 1 and 15 cards. The color you see here is the classic camo, but there are so many other colors to choose from. Check out all of Baxter's very high-end products in the link below this video. Let's get back to it. With the overwhelming response in my last Tesla display mount video that had an OEM look to it, many of you said it wished it had CarPlay or were wanting a screen for both the left or right handed Tesla cars out there. I just got done installing this 9 inch touchscreen display mount that works for both the Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, and yes it has CarPlay and the ability to work on both the left or right handed drivers. The screen is a pretty good size and it may be a good fit for you should you want an instrument cluster directly behind your steering wheel along with the ability to add CarPlay or Android Auto. I found using Using Waze Maps very helpful when driving along with many of your other favorite compatible CarPlay apps. Installing this is all plug and play and there is no need to connect this to the 12 volt battery. To find out more details on this, be sure to check out the link below this video and also how to install it. Regarding the exterior part of your Tesla, this real carbon fiber spoiler looks just like the OEM Tesla spoiler. Created by a company called Handshow, this spoiler identically matches the contour of the trunk for either your Tesla Model 3 or your Model Y. You can get this in either matte carbon fiber or glossy carbon fiber. This took less than 10 minutes to install and it's quite easy to affix. Just remove the adhesive tape and precisely place it on the trunk. I think it really adds a nice sport look to my Tesla and could not be happier with how it turned out. To find more details on this, I also created an install video to help you find it under my channel. I got a brand new product on the market that helps keep your charging cable organized and completely off the ground in your garage walkway. Made 100% in the USA, this EV Hover is a 9 foot long extendable 180 degree swivel arm that folds away against the wall. This charging arm improves garage safety, organization, and also helps with space efficiency. Not only does this work for your Tesla, but also any electric vehicle with various charging adapters. You can see here this is what my typical charging setup looks like with the obvious trip hazard on the floor right to my house entry door. When EV Hover reached out to me and I checked out their website, I already knew this would be a great addition to my garage. Made from lightweight aluminum, it can support EV charging cords up to 3 quarters of an inch, and the entire unit can be mounted on drywall, into a stud, or even brick, stone, and concrete. Installing this took me about 15 minutes, as you can see it completely transformed the way I charge my Tesla at night now that it's elevated above me rather than getting all dirty on the ground. Again, this will extend a total of 9 feet, so even if your charging port is on the other side of the garage, this arm will reach over another other car into the next parking space to charge your EV. We can see by looking at the hook on this arm that one side is larger than the other one. The more narrow section will support your Tesla cord while the wider side will support many other EV plugs including the popular J1772 connector. I also have this mobile charger cap protector should I accidentally drop the charger. The damage should be minimal especially if I were to hit my car. I'll have links below this video should you be interested in getting one for yourself along with the EV hover kit. Now when I took delivery of my Tesla, I did not apply any ceramic coat protectant to my white interior, which I regretted later after finding a light blue line in the rear seat from either blue jeans or like a rideshare passenger. After trying multiple products to help lift the stain, nothing really seemed to work. Needless to say, I learned my lesson and found out that many Tesla owners apply this GM leather ceramic shield to their interior, especially those with the white seats. Overall, to make your cleanup process easier in the future, be sure to apply this stuff to prolong the life of your interior. I think it's a must-have product and really should be a applied immediately after delivery. This will not cause any fading, cracking, or stiffness in the feel of the seats. For more detailed instruction on how to apply this GM leather shield to your Tesla, you can click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this video. If you're about to order your Tesla and are on the fence on which color to get, I can assure you as long as you maintain your Tesla seats, you'll be happy you chose the white. I personally love the way it looks, especially with my AU Taylor floor mats. One more product by Gian is their new Q2 Quick View Repellent. Perfect for the windshield, this delivers intense hydrophobic properties and repellency with a simple, fast application. To apply, first ensure your windshield is free of any contaminants by wiping it down with this Gian glass cleaner. Use a microfiber towel to pull up any debris or use a clay bar to further remove any sediment. After this has been completed, apply the Quick View product in a circular motion section by section to ensure even application. Let it dry for at least 20 minutes and finally wipe it down with a damp towel. After the application, you can see how well the water now beads off the windshield. Quick View will last about 6 months to help increase visibility during bad weather conditions, even without using the wiper. 
Moving back into the cabin interior, this very popular accessory that works for any vehicle is called the drop stop, which you may have seen in the famous TV series Shark Tank. Just to admit it, we've all had that one thing that drops in between the seat and the center console. Drop stop blocks that dangerous gap with its high grade neoprene filler. It's also another easy install by placing in between the seat and the center console and wrapping it around the seat belt fitting. You'll hardly notice it's even there, and again this will work with most vehicles, not just a Tesla. It comes with a lifetime warranty and for the price it's a no-brainer. I featured this in one of my 2020 Tesla accessory videos and yes they're still in my Tesla today. It's awesome. Details for this can be found in the description below. Finally new on the market is this front cooler bag for the Tesla Model 3 or your Tesla Model Y. Take all your favorite snacks and drinks and safely store them in this convenient bag. Made from a company called Tesloid, this bag will perfectly fit the shape and contour of the front of your Tesla. One side can be used to store cold or hot items with the insulated material and the other side can store anything from chip bags to other foods and containers. These velcro sections can even be removed to add a larger item. Should you want to store ice or further insulate your perishable foods, this inner waterproof bag fits inside the left compartment of the front Tesloid bag. It can be removed and carried around while the rest of the cooler bag stays in the front. I could see this being quite handy for storing your groceries or even taking this to the beach. There are handles on both sides and the whole thing can be stored back into its carrying case for later use. I'll have a link for this bag below this video should you want to know more. To see even more accessories from every video I have created, be sure to check out my new website at evanmichaels.com. Everything you want to know about your Tesla with the latest accessories can now be found in one place. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.